been up like two and a half days Homie, we all American, you to the S.A. My family call me Hoodie, we cool with the last name I be taking down my enemies, shoot them like Max Payne Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen, people of the world, it's Subscribe 6 here, and today I'm going to be talking about a couple of things that have been on my mind recently, and I'm not going to be talking about the gameplay, funnily enough, because I never do that. And uh, this gameplay right here is a fairly good one. All I know is that it's good, and it's... <laughs> I don't even know if it's good. I think I just worked one spot the whole game and picked up some kill streaks, and I think it was like a... 35 and 5 or something like that. It was fairly mediocre. And um, I've got the AK-47, my favourite weapon in Modern Warfare 3, just because nobody uses it. And uh, that's it, guys, about the gameplay. And let's get into my main topic. Okay, so what I'm going to be talking about today is films. So, films... You know, I'm the right person to talk about films. I've seen a lot of films. I like films. I'm a really f quite filmy guy. I do like watching my films. and Or movies, or whatever you like to call it. Um... I really, I, I don't remember the first proper film that I sat through and thought, wow, you know, I don't really remember, but I'm going to be talking about some of them today, I'm going to be talking about some, one that I actually completely underestimated, and uh, it actually turns out it was a really good film and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. So the first film I want to talk about is uh, Fight Club. So we all know Fight Club. Um, I quite can't remember um, the whole plot. It was like a guy um, who's having a shocking life meets a good, meets a new guy, and um, they stay. You know that that he stays at his and whatever. And because he burns down his apartment, I'm really shady because I haven't seen it in a while. And uh, they start a thing called Fight Club, and then they uh, do all of that stuff and and it turns out there's a bit of a twist at the end of it and um it's really cool I, I thought it was a really good film really clever and um, it was a really clever way of putting a film together now films are for me like they always have influenced a lot of other films in terms of what they do and tv shows right don't talk about, rule number one don't talk about fight club rule number two don't talk about fight club how many times have you seen that in say a simpsons episode or something else like that um you've seen it a lot i've seen that what i think it was puss in boots the other day when i watched with my little cousin i saw that i saw that he, he uh, the egg the egg thing say um say exactly the same thing now yeah that's that's kind of i think it was bean club is something quite funny um but yeah, back on topic. So it was a really clever film. I really did enjoy it, and um, it kind of ties in with the next film. Obviously, um, it was. I guess it doesn't really tie in with it, but it kind of fits that kind of uh, gritty, kind of style of filming, and that's Saving Private Ryan, mind you. Saving Private Ryan is nowhere near as gritty as Platoon. If you want to see a more of a gritty film, um, which, if, by, no, by the way, if you don't know what gritty means, because half my English class don't know what it meant, um, it's basically realistic. Um, if you want to see a gritty war film, watch Platoon. If you want to see a clever, you know, really cool way of putting a film together, really, you know, it kind of suited you know the way that you'd expect war you know you'd, you have a group of guys you know you all learn the characters and then you you know that obviously over a series of events some st stuff starts happening to them and it kind of you know brings it to like a family kind of thing thing and it kind of makes you empathize with some of the characters now that's what i really did like about that film um it kind of made me think as well it's like really was it worth saving him was it really all 10 men why would why would you do that um but it kind of it was really quite good i'm trying to think of words to, to explain it um but that's that's uh, pretty much it for same private ryan and uh, the next film i want to talk about is godfather now godfather was quality uh, in fact it is quality um when i watched it i was gobsmacked i was my my jaw was dropping it was like <gasps> wow this was not shot in 1978 <laughs> whoa <laughs> no it wasn't and um i, I guess you kind of think that that films that are older are obviously not as good as what they are now and that's wrong right if you want to have a good film that that has a really good plot something that's really you know clever and well thought put together whatever well directed um yeah <laughs> godfather is a really <laughs> is your your film um 1975 or 8 something like that and it was sh it was shot beautiful i i can't fault what Anything. Yeah, I, I can't say how much, how cool that is for it to be what over 25 years old and 25. Hold on, let me do my math. So yeah, about 25, 30 years old, I think. And it's well over 30 years old, obviously. And it was almost perfect. Damn, it was really. It was it. 
it was really good. It was it was that only time that I watched the film, and I was sitting near to my seat when he was in when it, they were in the cafe, and they planted a gun in there, and it was all like oh my heart's racing. Um, but yeah, the next film I want to talk about, um, which I watched recently and I underestimated, is Moneyball. Now Moneyball, I didn't I didn't think anything of this film. Obviously, I'm from the UK. I don't watch baseball. I'm not interested in any, in any of that stuff. Um, obviously, as much as you are soccer, mind you, you're probably more interested in soccer than I am in baseball because I know nothing about the sport. In fact, we don't even do it at school. We do softball, which is even the same thing. Um, but yeah, uh, so baseball, I think is it was quite. A money ball, it was quite good. I, I found it was really cleverly put together. And you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of FIFA. It reminded me of FIFA and Football Manager. The fact that you just buy an, or every single t player that has the best rating. Like um, FIFA. The other day I bought I bought a player who had about 95 sp sprint speed and 95 acceleration. And he's my top man, even though he's got nothing about him that's, you know good apart from speed and that's <laughs> that kind of reminds me of Moneyball um, and it was really quite well directed well acted you know it it put all of these things together and it kind of made you think you know this guy's got a life and he's you know he's trying to do this he used to be a baseball player and it's kind of putting this stuff together it's well put together I don't know how else to put to say how good the film was and I was just shocked I was shocked and how good the film was and how interesting it was because I don't watch baseball it kind of shocked me so uh, yeah I give that film a solid 9 out of 10 um, for for what it was because I was I'm thinking about it now and I saw it a week ago um, and yeah, I watched the film just now um, which wasn't that great so uh, that's pretty much it about films guys um, that was my last kill cam and I think I was what 30 something 32 and 5 there we are guys Super Squid Night 6 is here and now he's out